What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another video. I've been gone for a minute. Things been going good. Just haven't been able to get back to it like I should. So I start today. Here's a new video. I'm gonna show you this gospel progression, gospel turnaround, and this is what it sounds like. Once again. So, it's in the key of C. I'm tuned in E flat, so my C will be on the fourth fret. And you're probably tuned in standard tuning, so your C is going to be on the third fret. Your C will be right here, but mine is right here. So that's the first chord, it's just a C major chord. And how you make that chord is, put your first finger on the root note, which is C. Then with your ring finger, you're gonna make a bar across the fourth, third, and second string. I do is I break that chord up by playing and what I'm doing right there is I'm putting my pinky on the sixth fret second string and my ring finger on the sixth fret third third string and I'm hammering on Then the next chord will be a G major chord. And how you make that chord is you bar across all the strings, put your ring finger on the sixth fret on the fifth string, put your pinky sixth fret fourth string, and your middle finger fifth fret on um, third string. So, so far, this is what it'll sound like. Now, what we're going to do is play the next chord, which is an A minor chord. And I'm going to show you an easy way to play this chord. Let's go back to this chord. What I want you to do is move this chord up one whole two frets one two now what i want you to do is take your middle finger off and take your pinky finger off and now you have the a minor chord all together Remember this chord? All right. So the next chord is going to be just like this, except you're just moving your middle finger, your pinky, and your ring finger down a string. Right. So we're going to play this chord right here, which is D minor. So easy way. Back to this chord. Remember, we moved it up and we took off our pinky in our middle. So now we're gonna put those back and move everything down the string. So your middle finger will go from your third string to your second string. And your pinky will go from the fourth string to the third string. And your ring finger will go from the fifth string to the fourth string. And now you're gonna start strumming from the fifth string down. So far, here's what we got. Then the last chord is the same as the first. Okay, here's everything again.
this cord, you're going to put your middle finger on the 6th fret, 6th string. Your index finger is going to be on the 4th fret, 4th um, string. And your uh, ring finger is going to be on 6th fret, 3rd string. So all together. And back to the first chord. Then I did what's called double stops when you're just playing two strings. So what I'm doing here, I'm grabbing two notes from that first chord. Middle finger, sixth fret, fourth string, ring finger, sixth fret, second string. Then I move to this one, which is seventh fret. Middle ring finger on the fourth string. I meant eighth fret. Eighth fret, ring finger on the fourth string. Seventh fret, middle finger on the second string. So, back to that one. Same thing. Boom. Then I just move it down. Down again and back to the same shape as the second one but starting on that third fret third fret middle finger on the fourth string second fret index finger on the second string so all together <laughs> 